Hey there, if you're looking to take razor sharp tack photos, then I've got three tips that are gonna help you with that. This video is actually in addition to the one I made before called Seven Secrets to Insanely Sharp Photos. Check that out right now. I think the, uh, the little link is gonna come up right here. You can watch those if you haven't seen that already. Uh, if not, you can do these as standalone as well. The first tip is actually how you set your shutter speed relative to your focal length. And this might sound a bit odd, but um, 24 to 105, uh, that's my lens. If I'm shooting widest open, 24 to 105, you can see my shutter speed here. I want to be 125th or faster when I'm taking a photo. If I am shooting up at 105, I need to be over 100, so 125 at minimal. You always want to have a shutter speed, so the denominator in the shutter speed, that's as big or larger than your actual focal length that you're using. So if I were here on 70, uh, you want it at 80. And the reason you want to do that is the more zoomed you are, the more a little movement is going to create uh, some, uh, some uh, unclarity in your photo. Having the faster shutter speed will help get rid of that. If your shutter speed is too slow, you're going to see that little bit of movement. Even if you have uh, image stabilization on, maybe you'll be able to push it a bit. So maybe at, uh, maybe at 70, I, I could do 60 if I have my, uh, my IS on, which I do. You know, that being said, I go with the rule of keeping it at or above all the time, and that's going to help you get much, much clearer photos. The second tip is about movement, specifically you. So if you're focusing on something and you've pressed the shutter in halfway to get your focus, and then you just kind of moved in a bit, just get that perfect shot, and then you take the shot, that sharpness is going to be off. The reason being you focused already on your, uh, on your subject, and then you move the camera even so slightly, that's gonna change the sharpness, especially if you're at a wider aperture. So what you wanna do is get in the right position, do that halfway shutter, and then, then take the photo. If, however, you feel you need to go in a bit, release your finger, refocus a bit, and then take the photo. That is gonna make a big difference in your shot. So you really need to make sure that after you've got that focus dialed in, you do not move at all. And the third tip is around the, the focusing point you use on your lens. So if, if you're familiar with your lens and you see the, I know this is a bit weird, that little dot in the center flash up. When you're taking a shot, you could be using that center point to focus with, or as you know, you could adjust with your controls on here uh, to focus with one of the different points. And what some people do is they'll use those and they'll, uh, they'll wanna focus on some part of the image on the left, so they'll uh, move the focus point for one of the left items, focus using that. Don't do that. It's always better to actually use the center one, center your camera to what you want to focus on, keep your, your, your finger down a bit, and then move your, your, uh, your, your camera to, to keep the image that you want, but because your finger is on the shutter, halfway down, it's keeping the focus point you started with, and then you can take that photo. No need to use those other uh, other parts. They don't work as well as using the center focal point in my experience. So that's uh, what you really want to do. So I want you to actually go out and try these tips today. Use at least one of them uh, and try to do a photo without using it and then do a replicated photo using that tip. Get them on your computer and enlarge them as large as you can and see if you see a difference. I think you will. Leave a comment below when you do do that and I want to know what your experience was with it. Like this video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you soon.